Thomas Alva Edison once said, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. How many of you agree? Well, I am raising my hand already. What about you? We all have to agree on this that if you quit on something that means a lot to you or you're passionate about, then your chances of achieving the same reduces from minimum to zero. And that's sad because we are not that shallow. We are better than this. In fact, we are damn powerful. Namaskaram, I'm your show host Mitali Ori. Welcome you all with love and gratitude to this new motivational talk series where we will be discussing the disadvantages of giving up on your dreams and goals, techniques to keep your head straight onto your goals while ditching the idea of quitting, accompanied by one of my personal stories that I haven't shared till now, that hopefully give you some learning and motivate you. So without any further delay, let's get into it. When you choose to pursue a goal or dream, you have to get yourself ready for all the possible obstacles, hardships, disappointments, failures, rejections. Basically, to put this in simple ways, the road won't be easy. There will be times when you will have negative self-talks or inner dialogues like, why am I keep failing at this? What if this is not for me? This is so much harder than I thought. I don't think I can do this. So on and so forth. But don't get away with this because if you're not faithful to your goals, to your words or even to your choices and decisions, then you're not faithful to yourself. You will hurt your self-esteem real bad and that's going to be devastating. So while pursuing your goal, whenever you get these negative self-talks that would almost try to compel you to quit, just ask yourself these questions. Why am I here? Why did I choose this path? How important this goal is to me? To what level my goal or my dream matters to me? It is very crucial to ask these questions and only you can answer those. Nobody else can answer that for you. Just imagine if you could have achieved any of your goal or dream that easy, then what you could have learned and how. Learning is so important not just only for professional reasons but for your personal growth. To be honest, it's not fun as well to achieve any of your goal or dream that simple or that easy. Don't you agree? Facing all those hardships are so rewarding at the end. Come on, nothing can taste sweeter than that, isn't it? So never give up. Just remove the word quit or quitting or giving up from your dictionary. Perseverance rocks. Discipline, commitment, dedication and devotion are key elements to success along with failures, obstacles and rejections too. Thomas Edison also said, I have not failed 10,000 times. I have not failed once. I have succeeded in proving that those 10,000 ways will not work. Just change your perspective to look at things and the gimmick will start working in your favor. So what are the disadvantages of abandoning your goal? Number one, you won't achieve your goal. As simple as that. Number two, your self-esteem will be destroyed. Number three, you will start doubting your abilities and yourself. Number four, you would lose faith over yourself. You will have trust issues when it comes to achieving any other goals. Number five, you will be surrounded with negativity due to self-criticism because the questions that you will start asking yourself will not be pretty. And also your loved ones or even your friends might ask you different questions about the same out of concern that can be disturbing and it might trigger and also affect your mental health. I know the times are tough and the competition is cut through, but there shouldn't be the reasons for giving up. Just don't quit easy. This actually reminds me of one of my personal story wherein I was participating in a beauty pageant to kickstart my modeling career. 
So I reached Mumbai all pumped up and focused to win this pageant and we had this practice session where fashion choreographers would train you and teach you techniques of how to walk, to talk and so on. Now, while we were practicing, I saw all these other beautiful participants who were doing so great and they were so confident and so competitive. And slowly, the negative self-talk started to hit me and kind of uh, was messing with my brain. Like, I don't think I'm good enough. Look at all the other participants. They are so much better than me. I don't think and I don't see a chance with this thing. I can't do this. I should just quit and leave. So in my opinion, maybe uh, the pressure of competition and nervousness was getting into my head. But then I started questioning me. Why am I here? Did I travel all the way from Pune for four damn hours to quit this school? To quit this dream? I mean, doesn't your goal matter? And it was these questions that actually stopped me. Now, because I didn't quit, I became the first runner-up. Um, my heels really messed up. My chances of becoming a winner? Well, that's another story. So let's focus on this one right now. So imagine if I would have quit, I wouldn't have achieved anything, right? Like nothing. And because of me being the first runner-up, I also received a chance to get featured in Maxim India magazine. So you see, if you don't quit on your dreams, you at least land up very near to your dream or you never know maybe one day you might even achieve it and maybe that one day might be today or even tomorrow who knows it is important to trust yourself to be honest it took me a lot of time energy and effort to trust and accept myself fully and completely so you know what just Start trusting yourself, your abilities, your capabilities because you are very able, capable and powerful. Stop looking for excuses to procrastinate because they are ultimately taking you away from your goals. Now let us discuss some effective techniques to hold on to the path of your goal and dream. Number one, talk yourself out. Use the power of why. Question yourself, why are you even here? Does your goal matter to you? If yes, then how much? Now use your answers to motivate yourself. For example, look how far you have come. You're about to make it. This is not the time to quit. It's time to achieve. It's time to succeed. Number two, use positive self-talks and self-appreciation. For example, I am so strong, I am an achiever, I can do this, I am a powerful being, I am very passionate and more. Also appreciate yourself, for example, if you recently gave an audition, just appreciate yourself for showing up for the audition, for staying committed to the process of achieving your goal, for being so brave and courageous out there. Embrace yourself, celebrate yourself. Number three, reward yourself. After completion of any task, just reward yourself for it. Maybe eat your favorite food or your favorite chocolate or maybe go see a movie or paint. Whatever your heart says at that time, you know. Number four, get inspiration and motivation from others. For example, see an interview of your favorite artist or entrepreneur or life coach or so. I mean, you know, maybe you can even read a biography Learn from their journey. So let's go to number five. Reach out to your loved ones for support. There's no harm in reaching out for support and motivation. It's important because their words of motivation would beat all your frustrations and worries. Number six, don't make a big deal out of your failure or rejection. It's part and parcel of your journey to success. Just learn from it and move on. Number seven, Please meditate and work out or even dance that will help you shake out all of your negative feelings and negative self-talks. So yeah, I mean these are the seven, um, I would call it as techniques and I really hope this will help you. Alrighty then, 
Thank you so much for listening to me till the end. I hope you found this episode helpful because that's what my life mission is. And of course, your feedback would be really really appreciated. Please do not forget to subscribe to Self Talk show. More episodes and more awareness is coming your way. So stay tuned and keep self talking. You can reach out to me for questions, queries or suggestions at www.selftalkshow.com or through social media pages on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And one more thing that I wanted to add is um that you can expect the motivational talk series episode um either on Saturday or Sunday. So thank you again and see you with another episode.